Today is October 2nd, and I would say that we are a day late for the 50th anniversary activities here in Walt Disney World, but this celebration takes place for 18 long months. I'm Danny 702 and welcome to Epcot Center here in Walt Disney World. Did you know that October 1st is another important date besides from the Magic Kingdom anniversary, but it's also an anniversary for Epcot. On October 1st, 1982, Epcot Center had opened its doors for everyone to see one of Walt Disney's last dreams. He was envisioning Epcot even while in bed at the hospital, using the tiles on the ceiling to sort of map out where things would go. He envisioned Epcot more as a community rather than a park. So things are a bit different than what he had originally planned for Epcot, but Epcot is such a unique and special place from Future World in the front where we get to learn and dream to World Showcase in the back where we basically get to travel all around the world in just a mile stretch. The front area will now be broken up into little neighborhoods, basically. I won't be talking about much of that because right now it's still currently Wall City. There's just a whole bunch of construction walls still up, but a few things have recently opened and we have not yet to experience it. Like Club Cool has finally reopened where the world famous Beverly is located. They just opened up Space 2020, a brand new restaurant that takes you literally out of this world. For the 50th, we've got a brand new fireworks show, Harmonious Nighttime Spectacular, and also the beacon lights on Spaceship Earth, which was amazing to see in person. I believe we have a few new treats all around. We still have food and wine going on all the way until November. But let's head in and see some of the festivities that we can find today. Get a look at these wait times. It's currently a Saturday. It's about 11.30, park opened at 9. Oh, actually it's 12 o'clock right now. And it's October 2nd. It's a very big weekend here at Walt Disney World, but we've got a five minute wait or a 10 minute wait for Mission Space. Here's the menu for the new restaurant. It is a prefix menu, so you get a two course lunch or a three course dinner, 79 for dinner, 55 for lunch. I was hoping to get into the bar today. But funny thing about that, I had forgot my whole purse and Eddie's car yesterday. And I didn't realize that until I was basically trying to find it to get here today. And I tried to find an old ID just in case I need it for any reason today. So I've got a very, very old one, but it's got an expiration date of like 2017. So probably no adult drinks today. The wait time for test fact is showing a 35 minute wait, but check it out. The lightning lane is up and running. Another like test track to start off our day. Let's go! With all the ride wait times being short, I wonder how long the wait it is to get into Club Cool. We've yet to do that. We've got to taste that Beverly, right? I mean, I don't want to, but you gotta do it. The Club Cool closed in 2019 as part of Epcot's massive transformation. Imagineers have brought back a new version of Club Cool. It's been open for about a week or two now. The facade or the entrance has more of a modern look. But I really like this like green feeling and the Coca-Cola sign on the side of it. It makes it look like a classic Coca-Cola bottle. Very modern looking, very different from the last Club Cool. Lots of Coca-Cola merchandise and signs everywhere, which makes sense, of course. It looks like there are six stations. It's currently one party per station. You can't go back and forth like you used to, but here's a plus. The floors are currently not sticky. Well, for now at least. I wonder how long that will last. Okay, I think I waited about 30 minutes from start to finish. Here are the flavors around the world. Let's start over here. Let's avoid that one for now. We have the Viva Modiva. This is a Viva raspberry made from Eastern Europe. Yeah, that's good. It just tastes like sparkling water with raspberry in it. The Russia is a Sprite. Sprite cucumber though, oh my goodness, that's very different. 
it's refreshing though. Yeah, I think some people really enjoy cucumber or some people really hate cucumber. I find it refreshing in water, interesting in Sprite. From China, we have a sour plum tea. It's not bad. It definitely has like a savory taste to it. I don't taste the plum. It says that it's got sour plum tea. I don't taste that at all. It's not very sour to me. It, it tastes like barbecue, barbecue soda. And then we have one from the Philippines, a royal watermelon. Not watermelon, it's watermelon. I like that one. Oh yeah. That one's good. The apple lychee. Lychee? Lychee. The apple lychee. Lychee? Lychee. Lychee. I always say this wrong. No, I don't know. No, I don't like that one. Country Club is from the Dominican Republic. It says it's got a tropical fruit taste. Definitely reminds me of cream soda, which I love. From Madagascar, we have a bonbon and, ooh, a bonbon and jealous? I don't know if I'm a fan of the fact that this says it's got a unique taste to it. All right, well. It smells very strong. It smells very perfumey. Whoa, that woke me up. Dang. Very sweet. Damn. Last but not least, from Italy, we have the Beverly. I'm having flashbacks of drinking a 12 ounce of Beverly with Adam. It's not good. It's not good at all. But we're doing it. I'm already regretting it. I haven't tried it yet. Excuse me? Alright. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's as bad as I remembered. Ooh. It's just so bitter. No, but I hear that Beverly was made to sort of clear your palate after you eat food, and it's from Italy. Uh, but oh god, I mean that'll not only clear your palate, but it might clear your stomach too. It's. Uh, uh. <laughs> My stomach is not happy after mixing all these flavors and ending it with Beverly. I should have done that the other way around. I'm so glad that Club Cool is back. I really, really loved that. When I came here the very first time at Epcot, that was one of my like favorite memories was going in there and trying all the different Cokes. They have a whole Coca-Cola world in Las Vegas. And when I was younger, you used to be able to go up to, you know, the second, third, fourth, fifth floor, and they would have a whole museum and a whole like, walk through thing that basically taught you how they made sodas and then at the very end you could try all the sodas from all around the world very very similar to what it was like in there that was one of my favorite things we had to go there almost every time we went to vegas when i was younger a lot of the 50th anniversary suites are available in some of the sit down restaurants here at epcot but you will find a couple over here inside of the land pavilion at their counter service restaurant we're heading over to sunshine seasons now to see exactly what treats are available. There were two choices for 50th desserts over there at Sunshine Terrace. They had a chocolate one. Lots of chocolate. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. It was like chocolate ganache with iridescent sprinkles. It also had a chocolate topping. It was like a little chocolate candy and it had the little 50th emblem on it. But I ended up getting the lemon chiffon. Oh, I love the little imprint of the castle but also like with a little hidden mickey in there it is a lemon chiffon cake and it has blueberry mousse inside for 5.49 let's give this bad boy a slice right down the middle it's so soft <gasps> Ooh. oh yes sir yes sir look at that wiggle 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 mm-hmm mm-hmm okay Mm, it's very light. I love the lemony kick to it. Anything like tropical, lemony, fruity is great out here in this Florida heat. <laughs> That's cute. Oh no, I'm gonna be blue for the rest of the day. It's so worth it. 
so we're at the let's take a walk around world showcase while we're here basically to get some steps in to work off some of that lemon chiffon but i've also heard that they have some entertainment that just came back as of yesterday here at epcot that i really would love to see as of yesterday october 1st the remy's ratatouille adventure and the expansion for the france pavilion had opened to the public there's a long wait right now but currently the line is down due to technical difficulties uh, day two and they're already having trouble that's never a good sign but we were luckily able to ride this about three weeks ago on a annual pass holder preview very cute ride some entertainment has been gone for about a year and a half here at epcot and they brought back a few performers the traditional japan drummers or the performers have finally finally come back very last day that they played it was like an extremely emotional heartbreaking day these performers they've been here at Walt Disney for so long and they put their all into every single performance multiple performances every single day for all of us to see and it's so beautiful to see something so traditional and especially in this beautiful pavilion in the Japan pavilion awesome to hear that again I'm so glad they're back it's nice to hear the beats back to feel the rhythm in your heart basically all across world showcase it even makes it a little bit to the front of Epcot I'm making my way towards the front of the park and towards the exit of the park and we were here a few days ago for the annual pass holder preview of the harmonious nighttime spectacular show I had to work that day so I showed up maybe two hours before the show started so I basically went straight to a spot for the viewing of the fireworks and barely filmed anything, but I did catch a little bit of the show. So let's time travel to the past about three days ago. We are here on September 29th because today is a pass holder preview of the new harmonious nighttime spectacular firework show. The anticipation has been real and it's finally here. It is about seven o'clock now fireworks start at nine o'clock i don't have too much time to do very much so i'd probably wait for a spot somewhere so i was on my way to find a spot and i happened to run into some friends of mine Hello. we've got best life here sure. best good life and beyond you. so good to see you too happy, happy harmonious happy harmonious, harmonious. Happy, you guys uh, we're gonna have to say now. happy harmonious. Yeah, happy 50th because yeah. we're in that week uh it's so great yes yes it is we've got more friends jason instagram what is it I don't remember. Yeah. Jason D30. It's, yeah. it's going to be in the description. Yes, it'll be there. And we got Janelle and McPhee. Remind me one more time the name of your channel. Magic Journeys. Magic Journeys. I knew that. And of course, Theme Park Obsessions, hey, Dylan. How's it going? It's nice, nice to see you to again. See you again. Yes. We were actually at HHN together, yeah, secretly. We enjoying all the, the spooky festivities. You were showing me all around. Thank oh, yeah. you for that. And thank you for the margarita. You're very welcome. Who's ready to see some fireworks? Me. Ding, 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 and we got about five minutes left. Five minutes, so harmonious time. On a scale of one to five, how excited are you? Oh, yeah, that's uh, over. That's over. 4.5. 4.5? Yes, because I don't know what you expect. That's true. I'll we'll leave a little bit to the imagination. And Disney. <laughs> okay, if you were a betting woman, who's going to cry first? Oh, I hate, I hate, yeah, I don't know. It's going down, man. It's going to be one of us. Sorry. It's already, it's already happening if I just look at it. We are right in front of the Canada Pavilion. 
We grabbed a spot. We've been waiting for about an hour and a half or so. This is a very spectacular spot for this spectacular show. Oh man, here we go. Over voicing this section because I know that you guys have seen this show in every which direction, every which angle from so many other people, but I did want to give my reaction and show a little bit of where we were sitting. But this is a beautiful show. Harmonious is a perfect name for it. It really did remind me of coming together, of unity, of harmony. I loved hearing some of the Disney songs in other languages and some of the other Disney movies that have to do with other cultures in other countries. Technologically, it was crazy. There was so much going on. Lasers, fountain show, fireworks, projections, and seeing it all in the reflection on the lagoon was so beautiful. Whatever the barges are doing out there, it's pretty intense. It kind of reminded me of the Bellagio, only on steroids. It didn't hit me in the Disney feels. The only part that got me a little bit choked up was the Coco part. Not really for a nostalgia reason, but more so because Coco reminds me of my family back in LA. For a 30-something year old, you're always hoping to hear some of the oldies, all the goodies that, you know, you remember when you were young, when you were at Disney. And I didn't get too much of that feeling, but overall, I think it was a really cool show. Not my favorite nighttime Disney show. I'd come see it again if maybe Eddie wants to see it or we happen to be out here. I haven't seen anything on Enchantment over at Magic Kingdom, and I've got some high hopes for that one. Look at Spaceship Earth. This is incredible. Oh my god. It looks like a moon, and especially with the uh, reflection in the water. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, we're making our way towards the exit, but everyone is so intrigued by the Spaceship Earth lights. Wow! <laughs> This is so cool! I'm not sure what I like more, the fireworks or the lights on Spaceship Earth. We get sort of like an iridescent rainbow color, we get all silver, we get twinkling lights. Oh my gosh, there is so much going on. This is like a show within itself. Spaceship Earth! To the max though! Look at that! Gosh, that's just too cool. We also have music in the background that's sort of in sync to the way that the lights are moving. This is so freaking cool! Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna love this as much as I do. I literally feel like a fly, like being attracted to the light. <laughs> It literally looks like a spaceship Earth right now. We've got 18 more months of celebrations until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. These 50 years of magic. Can we just put this in the books right now? And let's say we're gonna be here for a hundred years of magic. I'd be out here with Mickey ears on and everything. Let's do it. Hundred years.